All right, so we wanted to show you how Rosie's doing with Leave It. And we wanted to show you how we got there and some of the things that you'll be practicing at home. Because if you do some of these intermediate exercises with her, it'll really help you with her Leave It. This is closed handed Zen. We present food in a fist. And at first we just wait for pulling away of any kind. And then once they're pretty good at that, we add in some duration. And finally, we wait for eye contact. Basically, this is impulse control around food, and we call it Zen. Then we progress to what we call open-handed Zen. Yeah. And we go through all the steps again. First, we just wait for them to stay back. They don't have to be looking at us. There's no duration. Sometimes they'll get the treat in your hand. Sometimes they'll get a treat from your pouch so they don't build up an expectation either way. And we always move the food to the dog. We never let the dog come to the food. If they're allowed to have what we're asking them to leave, we're going to hand it to them if it's a food item. If it's something else, we'll say, okay, go get it. If it's something you can't hand to them, like, you know, a sniff or something like that that you're asking them to leave for practice. Once she's good at this, then we add back in the duration and the eye contact. Then we go to floor zen, which is a treat on the floor that we cover and uncover. And again, just like with the last step, at first we take away the requirements for duration and eye contact and add them back in once she is good. Then we do what we call piles, and this can be a pile of treats, or it can be a bunch of treats in a bowl. And she gets treats both from your bag and from the pile on the floor. This is one of those things where you can do all kinds of fun stuff. You can start putting treats on her paws. You can spell out her name in cheese. We have lots of students that like to do that. And she's learning the best way to earn the, the goodies, whether they're in your hand or on a pile on the floor, is to earn them. And she's earning them through eye contact. And as she gets better, you can start having her do regular obedience behaviors to earn those cookies. So she gets better and better at ignoring distractions. Now you see that we often feed something else than the thing she's asked to leave. Um, one of the other things we do is we will reward her by tossing a cookie away from the leave it or zen item. This is good because it emphasizes staying farther away from the items and it also gives us a chance to practice again because now she's mobile and she's more likely to give it a try. So then when we named it, we went back to open-handed Zen and simply said to leave it as we presented the treat. Yes. We'll praise here because she's staying back, although she's not, look, not looking. Praise is a great way to let her know that even though she's not yet earned the treat, she's on the right track. So instead of silence, I like to praise as feedback to say, okay, keep it up. You're on the right path. Yes. And then it. throw the next one away. Yes. And then we just go through all the iterations we just showed you, adding the actual cue to it. So we'll just go straight back to uh, floors in. We say leave it as we put it down. And here we start really throwing away a lot because we want to get a chance to practice again. Leave it. Yes. And if she approaches the food, we're going to wait and see what choice she makes. If she doesn't go, if she chooses not to approach it, we're going to mark and reward. But if she starts to approach it, we'll say leave it. 
and we'll wait for her to respond to the queue. If she does not, we'll simply cover it as we normally do. As you can see, she's a rock star with this. She's so smart, you guys. Yes. Yes. Note how we don't go to cover it yet. We wait to see if she's going to respond to the Luda queue. Then we can make it a little bit harder by doing what we call yes. oh. body blocks. And you can even start with what we call foot zen. You can put the treat under your foot and cover and uncover just like we did with our hand. So you see here, she's body blocking and she's waiting until Rosie has a clear path to the item and she is making a conscious choice to not go for them. Yes. And the only difference between this and floor or piles in is that we're going to use a body block versus covering them with our hands. Yes. So this is what you'll do in your practice sessions. We will also want to do what we call surprise leave it's where we're outside of a session. Because we want to uh, imitate real life as much as possible. So next time she leaves it, first of all, we're going to give her one from the floor so that she knows that sometimes she can earn those too. So we're going to go ahead and pick the rest of those up. 